Okay, we've got all our sub-assemblies uh, set aside, and we're going to start with the front pump. To start the removal of the front pump, we're going to remove the BR snap ring. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Set the snap ring off to the side, and out come the B1 clutches. Notice that the B1 clutches are single-sided clutches. This allows for more clutch capacity. So we set those clutches aside. Now we're going to remove the, the B1 spring retainer and the return spring and the B1 piston. Let's see here. Right here we're going to get the screwdriver down in here. This is a, an L-shaped snap ring so it can be a little tricky to get out of there. Just work it up and out of the groove. Nice easy place to get to. Take your time, no hurry, and then finally comes right up and out of there. Now I don't know if we can get that, but this is an L-shaped snap ring that fits down into the uh, to retain the return spring. So we'll just set that off to the side and pull our return spring out. And then last but not least, out comes the piston. We'll use our, snap, our uh, needle nose pliers here to bring that up and out of there. We have our B1 clutches set aside now. We're going to remove the bolts from the stator to the bell housing, and we're going to separate the stator from the bell housing. We've got seven number 45 Torx bolts, which we will remove. Now we've got 11 number 35 bolts from the front here that we're going to take out. Okay, and one last one. Let's take those bolts all the way out, set them aside. Now we're going to use our rubber mallet here to separate the two pieces. Now we separate the stator from the bell housing. Okay, we've got our stator separated from the bell housing and sitting off to the side. Now we have the metal gasket between the stator and the bell housing. This is a, a, a coated metal gasket. I, I think uh, it's a good practice to replace this every time you do a rebuild. So to separate the pump body from the bell housing, I think the best way to do it is to use a couple of guide studs. These are just bolts that have been cut off that we're going to use, uh, simple guide studs. We're going to put them right in here. We've got them set up to drive the pump out of the of the bell housing with our, our mallet here. So a couple of taps. And out it comes. So there you have removing the pump from the bell housing.